Okay, so this tool that I'm going to review for you was uh, discovered uh, after I found the um, Faber-Castell needed eraser. And I found that in the fancy little uh, plastic case. But then after I started packing it in my travel set of supplies, I felt like it was a little bit too wide of a case. And I wondered, is there another kneadable eraser out there that has a smaller case? So this is the one that I found, the Lyra um, kneadable eraser. I'm not sure what brand this is. I've never heard of it before, but I found it. I think I got this on um, Blick.com and it has a much smaller case. You can see the difference here in the hand cam. It's um, a little bit taller of a case, but it's a significantly less wide case and that fits in my travel containers much better. So it has a similar um, opening mechanism, although I will say that this one is a little bit fussier than the Faber-Castell. It tends to not want to close again. Um, and then I actually like the kneadable eraser in there a little bit better. This one did come with a plastic container or wrap around it that I already took off. And this one is a quite soft gummy eraser, but I would say it's a more similar consistency to the Prismacolor kneadable eraser or gummy eraser. It's very soft, but it's not quite as sticky. So little pieces don't break off. It doesn't feel quite as greasy or oily. Um, and it still does a nice job of lifting and pulling value up off of the page right here. Um, this one is probably going to be my go-to eraser to take with me on the go as long as the case holds up. So um, because of that finicky clasp, we'll see if over time it holds up, but it fits really well in my travel cases and it's a great little compact size. So hopefully that little tip helps you out. I'll um, try to put a link down below. I think I got this one on blick.com and um, maybe you guys can try it out too and let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, LZM Studio, where I frequently release quick tips and all kinds of different ideas about drawing. Also check out my Facebook and my Instagram page. I like to show um, photographs of my artwork, of my students' artwork, and share funny stories from my students on those pages. And then check out my website, lzmstudio.com, where you're going to find more inspiration and um, full-length, detailed tutorials.